Hi everybody. Um, my lighting's not the best, but I need to do a video showing you my palette and I'll do my face real quick. Um, so this is my Saint palette. Um, I have a double decker. That means it has a top and a bottom. I even have a triple decker. I love it. Um, they have this big mama. Look at that. This is Meg's. Um, and so they have all these different sizes to whatever your needs are. They do have um, like an eight, which is like four and four, or they have one that just has four. But with those, you can't like go bigger, you know? So go big or go home. So I'm gonna show you my palette. Um, so inside your palette, um, these are the main ones that you're gonna have. You're gonna have two highlights. Um, and so this is my main highlight. This is like what you would think of as your traditional foundation. So I have my main highlight, I have my brightening highlight, and that's what you would think of as concealer. Now both of these, when you go shopping, are both under highlights, um, but they're just different colors. And then this one's my contour. My contour is what creates the shadows and dimension, goes underneath my cheeks, my forehead, um, and so this is your contour. And a lot of people are scared of contour, and I promise you can blend it out and go as crazy or as light, natural that you want, but it is part of the 3D foundation. And that's what Saint is. It's a 3D foundation system. They're creams, so they move with your skin, um, but the contour is part of it. And not only do the highlights have coverage, the contour has coverage, and then all of these are my lip and cheeks, meaning my blush and my lips even use as eyeshadow, those also have coverage. Um, and so sometimes, even if I have like these dark circles, these will cover things that I want to hide um, because they are more pigmented. They have more color in them, way more percentage than like what you think of a, as a traditional um, like liquid foundation. So you don't need as much product. So if you have wrinkles, gosh, fine lines, mature skin, Creams are gonna be your best friend because they move with your skin and they don't set in your wrinkles like those liquid foundations do because those do set and form, like kind of hold onto your skin and go inside your, your creases. Now, I am not gonna lie. We're all human. We all have texture. We all have pores, wrinkles, things, all of it. Nothing is going to get rid of that. We're all human but we have so many more tricks and things to do to help you camouflage those or to hide the things that you don't like. Um, so if you have mature skin, a tool that I super recommend is, this is the Perfector sponge that I need to clean, um, but this helps pick up any extra product so that it's not sitting in your wrinkles or your fine lines. Um, also, the different brushes help you. You make sure that you stipple, like you pounce on your skin and not wiping, that helps with mature skin. Um, even oily skin and all those kind of things. And so there are things we can do to help any of your issues. But I did want to put it out there that, yes, like pictures you might look airbrushed, but makeup's makeup and we're all human. Um, but this makeup has helped me beyond any of my other makeups that I've ever worn. I use It Cosmetics forever. And every day, at like a few hours, I would have to go and press this out because it would just be caked in underneath my eyes because I'd used so much product trying to brighten it up and it just wasn't my best friend. So once I found Saint and started using it, it has really helped me. And yes, it's still a problem of mine, but I'm working and trying to figure out all these different things that I could do to, um, to make it better. Back to my palette. Um, okay, this, <laughs> this beauty is my Bella bronzer. Don't be scared. It's amazing, warms up your skin. It also can help if you have a lot of breakouts or melasma, you can color correct with it first, put a, uh, a small, a smooth little uh, layer of it on and then put your, um, your main highlights on top of it. Uh, but it really just warms your skin up, whereas contour is dark and shadowy, the bronzer is super warm and helps you just look alive and glowing. Um, if you have a problem with your neck not matching your face, which happens a lot to us because our neck just doesn't like tan as easily, um, the Bella bronzer or any of the bronzers really help to connect those and um, helps you with that. Illuminator gives you the prettiest glow. Like just, you could put as little or as much as you want. This is a cream, which I like better. Um, they do have powder illuminators and those are like, whoa, like in your face, they're just, they're beautiful. 
any nights out, or if you just like that extra glam or pop, the powder illuminators are also just as pretty, but I prefer, actually, this is rose gold. It's really pretty. Um, sometimes with mature skin, I won't recommend an illuminator. You don't have to use it, um, but it's, it is really pretty. Okay, on my bottom of my palette, eyeshadows. I have all my eyeshadows and also my vanilla dust setting powder. This I love. I help set underneath my eyes or my eyelids. Um, and I put it with my eyeshadows because let's say you drop your palette or anything and your eyeshadows break. I mean, that would be horrible, but you wouldn't want all that powder to go into your creams. They would ruin the creams, the creams. So do make sure that when you get your palettes and you're setting them up that you keep creams and powders separate. Um, so this is my palette and I love it. I have many other palettes um, Cuz I like those too. Um, so here are some of my lip and cheeks growing my collection um, And then I have a couple extras. So this is a powder illuminator. It's beautiful. It's called Photoshop Oh my gosh, love this for like when I'm going out. This is it's kind of hard to see but it's a brush cleaner So when I'm going in between different like darker eyeshadows I get curve and clean my brush and ready to go to the other color so I'm not like blending like or adding black to a pink and just making it crazy and this is brow wax which i haven't used yet that's my go-to my next i need to try um i'm gonna do a very quick face a basic a light coverage a lot of people have reached out like i don't wear a lot what can i do but you really could do this lightly and um get just a sunday face on and be ready to go so i've already moisturized my face is looking a hot mess this morning um it's been a long night so oh, gosh Okay, so brushes. This is like a buff brush. This brush is gonna give you full coverage in days. This is my best friend. Um, buff brush, really full coverage. A lot of girls are like, I don't want really a full coverage. This is the hack brush. This also can give you a more like medium coverage. I love this brush for applying the my different colors and um, like applying the makeup on my face. But this brush is more of a light, to medium coverage this one's side is definitely a light side so if you want a more natural lighter coverage this is the blush this is words always hard for me here blush and bronzer brush <laughs> I got it it's the B squared brush um, but this side's definitely gonna give you a lighter coverage or even just like it's Sunday I just want it, my face a little bit more even you could use this side and so today this is what I'm gonna use today to put my face on one brush and I'm gonna get it done Okay, so I always start with my contour. Um, think of paint by numbers. It always helps me to know if I have my contour on, it kind of helps me to know where to put my other colors. And so it's just what I start with. You do you though. If you want to start with your highlight, if you want to start with your eyes, do it. I can't. I've always been like that. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm actually just going to use my finger. I have a little microfiber towel next to mine. So you feel like the bottom of your cheekbone. So top of your, th your ear and you could feel your cheekbone, the bottom there. You don't want to go more in than the outside of your eye. So I'm going to fill that and just draw a line. That's it. Other side. Now, if it's cool, sometimes people I know have used like blow dryers to warm up the cream. So if you live in a cold area, that's a really smart trick. So I can feel the bottom of my cheekbone. Nothing like being a mom. Can you say hi? <laughs> mom makeup, people. Mom makeup, quick and easy. Okay, so that's all I've done. I've stopped here and I don't have any contour here. You don't want to bring them into your smile lines, okay? Um, rainbow. Rainbow on your forehead, just like that. I like to leave room so I could blend up. If you do it right in your at your hairline, it's going to get in your hair. And you do want to make sure you blend it all the way to your hairline. But I kind of like to put it a little bit lower. Okay. And I actually like this method better than the uh, dot method. I feel like it blends out a whole lot better than placing those dots. I think because it's a line, it just, um, it blends better. Penny, sorry, my dog's getting, come. <laughs> All right, for my nose, you just put your two fingers together and bring them down your nose. This is an extra step. Oh, you move the blinds, chick. Okay, you just go down your nose there, bottom of your nose. Whatever is left on your finger, just got the bottom of your lip. Oh, that kind of went crazy. It's all right, I just blend it out. Okay, so this is my contour. This is where you wanna start. Um, and now I'm gonna go to my main highlight, 
Mine's, uh, I, w I just went to my uh, winter color, so I went to candlelight. Penny, come. All right, so now, if I had a beard, this is where, oh my goodness, dog. Stay away from this barn. Okay, sorry, my dog's driving me nuts right now. So I'm just gonna come and put some dots. You could do a little line right here along my jawline. I'll do a little bit down here. Just if you're a little red, you could use it. All right, this fun little friend right here on my cheek. <laughs> right above it here. I'm not gonna put tons by my nose, but I mean, I'm a little bit red today. All right, so where my contour is up here, I'm just gonna swipe it right below it. Saint is one layer. You don't need to pile more and more on um, one layer. So paint my number, my contour, my main highlight under, same, my contour, main highlight here, here. I left right underneath my eyes open, this T-zone down my nose, here and here is where my brightener highlight is gonna go. And so I just changed to white peach. So I do kind of like soul patch there, my lip. Down my line of my nose. Got like a hair on my nose. Now less is more, especially if you have those fine lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes. Um, less is more right there underneath your eye. So I don't swipe it all the way under. I want as little product as possible right there. So I put it right at the inside, the inner of my eyes. You could even kind of go up right there. Um, and then the outside, and then when I blend, I'll blend that together, but it puts less product right underneath my eyes. All right, so I left all right here open. So, some of my brightener. And that's it. Okay, and I actually, see how discolored my eyelids are? Watch. I mean, I just put a little bit of my brightener highlight. and it really helps to color correct that. See? Okay, so other side. Okay, so I have put my crazy, <laughs> all my colors on. It looks crazy. Here's the magic, you ready? I'm gonna blend. And so yes, you might like this person. How's this gonna work? It just blends out so nicely. And because they've been sitting on my face, my body warmth has warmed up the creams and that actually helps to um, blend, especially so if you're like dry, if you like place the product on first and it's sitting on your face as you're placing it, those other colors are going to warm up with your skin. So especially if you start with a contour, which isn't as creamy because we don't want our shadows to move. So it's kind of a more denser cream. If you put those on your face first, they will warm up and be easier to blend. Now when you blend, you wanna keep all your blending, your brightening, your lighter colors, you wanna do those first. So I'm gonna do stippling, and I'm gonna use the thicker side just to help kind of move the product. I'm blending my lighter contour or uh, highlight with my main highlight right now. And I'm not mixing um, my contour and my highlights together right now. I wanna keep those in place. I mean, that's why I put it um, in certain spots because I'm trying to create that dimension. And if you just go to town and just rub it all out, then what's the purpose? You're just gonna make it one color. So you do kind of want to keep the creams where they are. So I'm going underneath my eyes. You can see that I'm just kind of pouncing. Small little stippling motions. Okay, so now let's do the forehead. So when you come to the forehead, you do wanna make sure I'm gonna come up and get my contour that you are blending up, okay? You don't want your forehead to look smaller and smaller. Um, you wanna blend up. You do little circles. That really just gives you that shadow. So especially if you have um, a bigger forehead, a smaller forehead, there are different placements that you could put with your contour to make optical illusions. 
Um, you can make your forehead look smaller or bigger, whatever you need. And if that's a concern, if you let that me know when you're doing your uh, color match, then I can help you at least send you like the best ways for you to place your product. Or if you ever like, hey, this is crazy, what do I do? Reach out. Okay, so what I do my nose, because I put them in straight lines, I also don't wanna just blend out those lines. So I'm gonna go up, go down, but I'm kind of staying in in that thing. It just kind of helps my nose look a little smaller. Okay. Sometimes one day I forgot to do my chin, like uh, blend it out. And I was like, oh, <laughs> caught myself in the, the uh, car mirror before I went to work. I was like, oh, better rub that out real quick. But because it was so warm sitting on my face, I was able to do it really easily. Okay. So your contour on your neck is the only place where you want to blend down. Your cheeks, you blend up. Your forehead, you blend up. Your chin, down. It's going to create those shadows. And also, if you have any, you know, those extra chins, it helps to camouflage those and create a jawline for yourself. Um, so make sure you rub that out. Okay, so when I come and do my contour, I'm actually going to under blend, meaning I'm not gonna, it might be more of a sharp line um, because I'm gonna be putting other product on it. Um, and I wanna make sure, I like the, I like the line. <laughs> I like the contour. I feel like it just, slims my face, um, just gives me the some definition, some dimension to my face. Um, and I'm gonna be putting other product on there. Um, so, under blend. And you can see I'm going up, up. It gives my face a lift. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna add, because I can't live without bronzer. I mean, that is part of my Sunday face, my light face. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna use the light fluffy side, just kind of softly. So I'm gonna do a C. So here, here. You could think if you were out in the sun, where would you get burned? You get kind of burned on the top of your cheeks here and on your forehead. So. Like that. I actually like to put these two, this is my rose gold illuminator and my bronzer, right next to each other. And I kind of pounce in both of them. And sometimes I won't add like illuminator later on, um, but it just kind of gives me more of a glow. Okay, so like I said though, if you, um, if you if your neck is really pale, you could bring the Bella bronzer down your neck and just kind of, so it matches better. You don't have to do tons, just light. I like to take the big fluffy in to kind of airbrush, make sure that I get it all out or all blended in. And that's it. All right, um, let's do some blush. I'm gonna try a new color. So these are my um, new colors. I don't even know what color this is. Let's see today. Actually, I wanna try this color. Oh, this is one of the brand new ones, Madrid. Is that the prettiest? Okay, so let's try Madrid. Um, I'm just gonna take my finger, just a little bit on my cheeks. I also like to kind of go up with my blush to give me like a facelift. Help me with my face. So I just kind of go up. Okay, after you place Madrid, I take kind of the stiffer end, kind of blend it. Megan's calling. <laughs> Okay, and then I always like to kind of finish with a big slop, uh, soft, fluffy end. I feel like it kind of like airbrushes you out at the end. Um, it's Sunday, like I said, so I'm just gonna put a little on my lips. My lips are so dry. I have a lip conditioner, but I need to get an extra one to put in my makeup case, because right now it's in my purse. All right, that's it. I'm gonna put um, a little bit of the vanilla dusting or vanilla dust powder. It's a pressed powder. I'm just gonna use my buff brush, tap, tap, tap. I like to set it where I put that uh, brightener on my eyelids just so that it doesn't crease because we have a lot of movement in our eyes. And I'm actually gonna come and just do a little bit under my eye, a little. <laughs> Like I said, I have those fine lines and wrinkles. You do not want to put a lot of uh, powder 
in those areas. But if you're oily, make sure you take either a translucent or this pressed powder and set those areas where you are more uh, oily or that you have more mo movement. So we have a lot of movement around our mouse, around our eyes. Um, make sure you set those. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna take a really soft, nothing crazy. <laughs> My sister's calling me. Some mascara. Sorry if you hear my kids screaming in the background. Mom life, mom makeup. All right, so, not awkward putting mascara on <laughs> at a video at all. Um, all right, so that's just my face. Um, it's my more natural kind of face. Um, I'm gonna take this setting spray, it's airbrush. Saint also has a setting spray, um, but I actually really like this one. Um, it gives you more of a matte finish. If you like the really dewy look, Saint is fantastic. Um, but this is airbrush. Couple squirts, let it dry. If you notice that your makeup is still, if it's moving too much or if it's not setting, you could take any translucent powder, this Cody Airspun, like Walmart is the best. Um, take your uh, damp perfector sponge, get it wet, squeeze all the water out. I mean, as much as you can. You don't want anything coming out. Get some of your powder and set underneath your eyes after the spray. Maybe take a brush, kind of brush off any, any extras, but that is it. I'm done. Um, so this is my palette. It's my saint. I love it. If you have any questions, um, reach out, but I'm really excited for you guys to get your makeup. Um, if you are unhappy when you get your makeup, Saint does have a return policy, but even better if the color is off because um, pictures are hard. Like in 20 seconds, one picture this way and one picture that way, like taking two pictures, your color, your face could look warm or cool, what lights are bouncing off your skin. We try our best, but if the color match, you're like, whoa, this is too yellow. Once you once you blend it in, um, Saint has, I believe, a 60-day shade swap. So you have to fill out a form. You send it back and order your new color. I will totally help you with that. You tell me what's wrong, um, and then they'll switch that out for you. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day, um, and I hope you get some Saint. Bye.